guys welcome back to our channel it's Sophie I'm super excited to be back with another makeup tutorial for you guys today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I achieved this green smoky halo so if you guys want to see how I achieved this look right here then just go ahead and keep on watching and also if you want to be entered in our monthly giveaway go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up make sure you're subscribed turn your post notifications on and then comment done down below if you live in the u.s because our giveaway is u.s only so jumping right into the tutorial first thing i'm doing is priming my eyelids and i like to use my nyx can't stop won't stop contouring concealer and i use this to prime and just get rid of any discoloration and then i set it with some translucent powder for today's palette, I'm using my Morphe 39A palette and I'm just going into this really warm transition color and I'm just going to be popping that into my crease. And for today's look, we're doing a rounder look. So I'm just following the natural curvature of my crease and I'm going a little bit above my natural crease for this look because I want to give myself a little bit more lid space so if you have hooded eyes you could definitely follow this technique so I'm grabbing this angled brush and this dark brown eyeshadow in the palette and I personally love this brush because I have so much precision this is a ColourPop eyeliner brush and I'm going above my natural crease as you can see and I like to start in the center and then work my way to the inner and outer corner and I'm just starting to draw this line as pigmented as possible. This is going to be where we apply all of our depth and we're just going to be blending over top of that. My blending style is definitely one that works in layers. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. So I'm going into this light brown eyeshadow in the palette and I'm going back into my small tapered brush. This one is from the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill collection. And I'm just going in left to right motions over top of that line, adding a gradient to that crease and just really diffusing it but keeping everything very, very low. And then I'm going back into the angled brush and the dark brown shade and we're just going to be redefining that line. And this is my favorite way to build depth in the crease but at the same time have a really blended look. So. Once again, going back into that small tapered brush and I just re repeated those same exact two steps over again once more. So I'm doing the exact same thing that you saw in the last two clips. And then I'm going into this angled brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going into some more of that NYX concealer. And I'm just carving the inner half or I mean the center half of my lid and crease. And I'm also applying this all over my lid and then going over top of that with some translucent powder and just really setting everything in place. I don't want that concealer to transfer and I don't want the shadows that we're going to apply over top to blend with the concealer. So definitely make sure to set that concealer with some translucent powder. And then I'm going into this flat brush and this green shade in the palette and I'm just applying this all over my lid. And we're going to be applying a glitter in the crease later on, but if you want to keep it a little bit more wearable, a little bit more subtle, then you can skip the glitter in the crease and definitely just rock it with this beautiful green eyeshadow. I saw a lot of comments from people wanting to see Christmas looks, and I think that this would be a beautiful, beautiful Christmas look. So the next thing I'm doing is grabbing that small tapered brush once again with that light brown eyeshadow. And I'm just feathering that inward on the inner and outer corner and just really starting to blend everything together. I want this to be our sort of act as a transition shade for the inner and outer corner of our halo eye. And then I'm going into this really, really small defined tape or pencil brush and I'm going into that dark brown eyeshadow. And we're just applying this to the very inner and outer edge. And it's just going to help us build some more dimension to the look. And then going back into that fluffy tapered brush with that light brown eyeshadow. And we're just mixing those three shadows together. Making sure that it's blending into that green metallic shade. But also blending out that very inner and outer edge. And then I'm going into my NYX glitter primer. I absolutely love this one as well. I know you guys see me use the Too Faced one a lot. But I really like this one by NYX. 
and I'm just applying this into my crease and then I'm going into this brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills glitter and the name of this glitter is called Rally and it's one of her newer glitters. So I'm just peeling off that tape and applying my Shop Sophie Bella Barbados lashes which I think just really pulled this whole look together. And then I'm going into my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Black Eyeliner and I'm just popping that into my waterline. And then going into that really warm transition color that we applied in our crease and I'm just buffing that onto the lower lash line with this smudger brush. And then I'm going to be going into that lighter brown shadow and that darker brown shadow and I'm just buffing that as close to our lower lashes as possible with this really flat defined brush. And then of course mixing the two together, I like to put as much effort into the lower lash line as I do in the upper crease. I think that it really pulls everything together when they're both really blended and really nicely put together. And then I'm going into my Mad Lash Mascara by The Balm and I just coated my lower lashes. And then for our inner corner highlight, I grabbed my Gilded Light Highlight by Pixie, or not by Pixie, sorry, by Pop Beauty. And this is the finished look. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I think that it is super elegant and it's very artistic, but you can also make it subtle if you just lose the glitter crease. But I think that the glitter, the glitter crease really kind of made this look stand out and it made it super different. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this look. If you guys watched this video to the very end, thank you so much for supporting our channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!